Okay, so on the video, the last video I did on arthritis, and had somebody say, well, I've got rheumatoid arthritis and MSM didn't help. Well, that makes perfect sense because rheumatoid arthritis is different than osteoarthritis in this. Rheumatoid is a autoimmune disorder or an autoimmune disorder. And what that means is you're not wearing away the cartilage in between your bones. See, in osteoarthritis, you've got two bones, one on top of the other. You've got this stuff called cartilage in the middle, right? Once you get that wore out, that is a degenerative, a de degeneration of the cartilage, which means then you get bone on bone. It starts to rub together. This rubbing together creates an inflammatory response that pushes against the nerve that hurts. Rheumatoid arthritis, little different ball game. This is where your immune system is attacking your joints, which is not productive, right? So what happens is in our immune system, we have killer T's, macrophages, things like that. You have generals and soldiers and communication lines. The generals communicate with the soldiers through these communication lines called MPSs. That's your phone line, all right? Kind of like that. So what happens is eventually in our immune system, these MPSs or communication lines get broken down. So if you're in a war, you got a battle going on and the phone lines break. Well, what do the soldiers do? Well, they do what soldiers do. They go out, get drunk, and attack the wrong thing. That's autoimmune disorder. <laughs> so what we want to do is reestablish the communication lines with these MPSs. Now the general can call the soldiers and say, hey, boys, regroup. We only attack foreign entities, not domestic. So leave the joints alone and let them heal, and we'll go attack bad stuff. Y'all sober up. It's time to get to work. So that's essentially the basic idea behind MPS. And this right here is MPS 200X. Now, that is your communication line. So your immune system can do what it was intended to do and not attack your joints the way it's been doing. But that's also why your MSM was not effective on your rheumatoid arthritis. It's an immune disorder. So with MPS, you're looking at about six months and that will stop the attack. Once the attacking stops, then you have the ability to heal. Um, if you have a colon issue like diverticulitis, we want to be very careful about that because these MPSs, you'll want to start with not MPS 200X, but MPS 70. MPS 70 is, all right, MPS is mucinose polysaccharides. MPS 70 means it takes 70 gallons of aloe vera is where it's extracted from. So you take 70 gallons. So MPS 200X is 200 gallons of aloe vera to make one ounce. And <laughs> that's my son, David. I'm very proud of him. He's a legal product. But 200 gallons of aloe vera to make that. Now what happens, essentially what you're going to have is if you take the 200X and you've got diverticulitis, then those diverticuli have not been being identified by the immune system in the colon. This will correct it so quickly that it will begin to hurt. We want it corrected, but that correction does not feel good. We've had people tell us that they feel like they're being stabbed in the gut. So we have MPS 70 to do that, but do it in a slower way so that once you build up, the diverticuli are killed out, the colon heals, and then the rest of the immune system can function. And one immune system goes along with another, and we think this is a much better idea than the doctor's method of dealing with autoimmune disorders, which is, I'll tell you what, we'll give you an immunosuppressant that'll kill your immune system and uh, basically give you HIV, and hopefully um, you won't feel pain anymore because your immune system isn't working, but then you become susceptible to everything. I think that's probably not the best way to go about it. Yes, it will relieve symptoms and it'll do it rather quickly, but then you might get COVID. Of course, that really wouldn't matter anyway, would it? Um, but you might get something worse. And if you can't protect yourself against something like the <laughs> unspoken virus, then um, that could be bad. I suppose, like the flu. But 
a better method of the immune system and working with it is to give it what it needs to communicate properly so that it can go back to functioning the way it was originally intended. And all we're doing is giving the body the raw materials necessary to rebuild what it already had. So essentially, the products aren't doing anything but providing raw material. Your body heals itself. And we think that's a much better process than killing things out and hoping that you don't feel it anymore. Um, Remember, none of these products have been evaluated by the FDA. They're not intended to diagnose, treat, prevent, cure, or cause any disease. They're simply the raw materials your body needs to rebuild at a cellular level, and we think that the body will rebuild at a cellular level if it has the raw material to do so. Degenerative disease is caused by a lack of material, so you degenerate. That's why they're called that. Um, and as far as us being an alternative therapy, uh, we're not the alternative. We are the original the alternative is drugs, and they haven't cured a single disease in 60 years, so why would you keep doing things that way? <laughs> anyway, if you got any questions, feel free to um, shoot me an email at sethnhc at gmail.com. Uh, text me at 256-497-0494, or you can call the store at 256-757-0660. And... If you have rheumatoid arthritis or some type of autoimmune disorder like Crohn's, lupus, um, anything but fibromyalgia, which actually isn't an autoimmune disorder, we can go over that later. But MPS 200X or MPS 70 to get your immune system functioning properly. So, appreciate you.